to another yoga studio. I'm Kat and uh, it's great to have you here with me today for a gentle heart opening, chest opening, back bending yoga flow. It's going to be a very slow, very gentle one with the focus all being on opening out the front of the body with movement through the back and the shoulders. So when you're ready we're just going to find a comfortable position to sit in. So if you need a block or a cushion underneath your hips. Make sure you find a block or a cushion. I'm going to start um, either with the legs just out in front or if you can making a wide uh, diamond shape or uh, Baddhakanasana cobbler's pose. Just sitting tall. Let the shoulders relax. If your hands are just resting on the knees you could turn the palms up if you wanted. Closing the eyes. And start to take some nice big deep breaths in. Breathe in through the nose and out with nose with breath coming all the way down into the belly. So one more breath here. And when you're ready, gently open the eyes, keeping the spine nice and tall. We're going to hold then onto the fronts of the legs. And as you exhale, take a little curl back through the spine. So making a little cat shape for those of you who know your cat stretch. And then as you inhale, we're going to lift the chest up. If it feels good, try lifting up to the ceiling. So exhale as you roll back through the spine, tucking the tailbone under. Inhale. Stretch forwards, pull the shoulders back. A little seated cat cow. We're going to do that two more times. Just warming the spine up. And then bring yourself round so you can come onto all fours. And we're going to take that movement a little bit further so that we're coming into our full cat stretch. So still exhaling as you round up the back. Inhale as you arch. Exhale round. Inhale arch. Seeing if you can find that movement all coming from the centre of the back, towards the bottom of the rib cage, and then the movement just ripples up and down through the spine as you round and then arch one last time, and then we're going to exhale round through the child's pose. And as you inhale, just try and bring yourself forwards, taking the hips down towards the floor. Find a little cobra pose. So exhale, rock back. Just move nice and slowly. Inhale, come forwards. If the hips don't touch the mat, that's fine. Just deepening that movement through the lower back. We can do that one more time. And then come back to child's pose. Just holding there. Taking some nice big breaths in. And then as you inhale, come back up onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under and see if you can lift up with the hips. Come to downward facing dog. 
We're just going to walk in parallel with the feet here. So again, we're introducing that upside down V or triangle shape to the body. And then exhale, see if you can get the heels to come towards the floor. And then walk the hands back towards the feet, taking a bit, nice big bend in the knees. The feet are nice and wide. Belly's going to just try and drop forwards towards your thighs. Let the head come towards the mat. And then bring the hands, cupping them around the base of the skull. And gently draw the head towards the floor, tucking the chin in. Stretching through the back of the neck, the back of the shoulders. Maybe feeling a stretch coming all the way up the spine. Breathe here. And then releasing the hands, exhale, slowly curl yourself up. Rounding up through the back, coming up to standing. Move the shoulders back. We're going to bring the hands back behind you. You can see inhale, just gently clasp the hands together, pull the shoulders back. Yeah, we've got that option of just looking up towards the ceiling if that feels good. Exhale, bend the knees, round forwards through the spine and try and let the arms drop forwards. Keeping them together, they're going to just reach towards the floor in front. And inhale, round up through the back. Using the arms to pull the chest, the shoulder back. A little bit of work for the glute muscles for support. And then exhale, round forwards. Arms again, dropping forwards. Inhale, round up. So keep squeezing those shoulders back, the glute muscles, the bum muscles in. Lift the chest upwards. And then we're going to exhale, round forwards one more time. And then releasing the hands all the way down towards the floor. Walk the hands back out in front, coming back to that downward facing dog. See if you can just hold here for a couple of breaths, encouraging the heels to reach towards the mat, the legs to straighten, but don't worry if it doesn't happen today. Lovely, and then we're going to take the knees all the way back down towards the floor, coming back to child's pose. And then have a roll with the head from side to side in child's pose. And then as you inhale, push yourself back up onto the tabletop or happy position. And we're going to walk, slide the hands out in front, release the elbows towards the floor as best you can, try and take the forehead towards the mat. Bring the hips up over the knees, so we're into our half opening and a half in our pose. Breathe in. And then we're going to rock back with the hips towards the heels. Exhale, round up through the spine. Take the shoulders back, bring the hands onto the lower back. We're going to use those bum muscles again to squeeze the hips forwards. You feel the chest lifting upwards, camel pose. And then exhale, come back into that all fours position. Walking the hands out in front, take the elbows down, take the head towards the floor. See if you can come back to our little puppy dog position here. Shoulder blades sliding away from each other while you still try and press the chest, the heart towards the floor. Just want that little bit of war at work, support, strength from the shoulder blades here. And then we're going to walk the hands back in, just rounding up through the spine, looping the shoulders back, bring the hands onto the lower back and see if you can lift the chest. Lift the heart a little bit higher, maybe letting the head roll back this time. And then come back down, walking the hands forwards again, one more time into puppy dog. So think of the chest, think of the heart just releasing down towards the mat. 
Push the shoulder blades away from you, so if they're trying to hug the rib cage. If you want, you can try looking around in front, try around the layer of the head on the floor, leave the chin on the floor. And then we're going to walk ourselves back in. Come all the way back up through the spine, round the shoulders back, supporting the lower back, lift the chest, squeeze the hips forwards, looking up. Those of you who know your camel pose well, if you want to come back and bring the hands towards the feet this time, you can, but otherwise we are going to stay here, giving ourselves that little bit of support, stretching through the front, working from the knees all the way up to the chin, to the nose, the crown of the head. And then we're going to exhale, bring the knees, uh, the hips back towards the heels, release forwards, the child's pose. So make a child's pose, feel as comfortable as you can, so you can take the knees wide, just bring the knees together, often keeping the hands around by the feet, that can be a nice little aid to just help the back relax a little bit more. A couple of big breaths here. And then we're going to come forwards. Finding Sphinx Pose. So elbows underneath the shoulders, roll the shoulders back. And then again, have the feeling of the movement coming from that midpoint in the spine as you shine your heart reach forwards. So opening the chest up. So think of it not only kind of out in front of you, but up towards the ceiling. We can stay looking down towards the floor or we can start to tilt that chin back again. It's up to you. Just press the feet into the floor, the tops of the feet. Couple of breaths here. Feel the shoulder blades melt down the spine. And then we're going to come back to child's pose again. So we've got the hands out in front, and as you exhale, just walk the hands to the right side. So we leave the hips over the heels, let your head relax forward. So you're going to get a little bit more of a stretch through the left side body. So breathe down the left side. And as you inhale, come back into the middle. And we're going to exhale, take it round to the left. Again, the head just hangs heavy, reaching through to the right fingertips. So stretch from the fingertips to the right hip. And coming back into the middle, just slowly round yourself up. That's going to be the last thing to come up, and we're going to release the feet, taking the feet out round in front, curl down towards the floor, and take the arms out at shoulder height. And as you exhale, roll the knees to the left. So if you can just let your head look towards the right thumb. And then as you exhale, draw a big circle with the right finger. So we're going to sweep all the way around past the left hip. You can follow it with your eyes. Inhaling as the hand circles back past your head. Exhale, circle around with the hips. Inhale, round past the head. We're going to do that one more time. So exhale, circling around the legs. Inhaling as it comes up round by the head. And see if you can, just let that elbow bend into cactus position. So you've got like that L shape of the arm. If it's too much, just leave the arm out straight. Just opening through the front of the right shoulder. Back body melting to the floor. And then release the right hand. And as you exhale, roll the knees to the left. Eyes are going to look towards, oh sorry, knees rolling to the right, eyes are looking to the left, 
Come on together, just relaxing the knuckles on the mat. And then exhale, sweep the left hand around past the hip. Inhaling as it comes past the head. So exhale, circle round. Again, just following it with the eyes, with the head, if that feels good. One more circle. Inhale as it sweeps then around past the head. Coming all the way back to the mat and see if you can take that little cactus with the left arm. So the back body melting towards the floor. Heart shines out. Come on. And then we're going to release that left hand. Bring the knees back into the middle. And then you can either stay here with the knees nice and bent, perhaps shuffling the feet a little bit wider towards the edge of the mat. Otherwise, slide the feet away from you. Close the eyes. And we're going to take five big breaths in and out here. And as you inhale, just feel that front of the body shine upwards, the heart shine upwards. And as you exhale, the back body sink towards the floor. As you finish your five breaths, bend the knees back up if you need to. And then we're just going to roll round onto the left side, pushing yourself up to sitting. Bring yourself round into a comfortable sitting position. Now we're just going to reach the fingertips up, palms together. Exhale as the hands come through to centre to your heart or your head to your fingers, just acknowledging your effort this morning today. Namaste. Well, thank you for sharing your time with me through the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up if you did or leave a comment or question below. And remember to sub subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up to date with all our latest videos. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.